A couple weeks ago on the live stream, in the very beginning, I showed a couple of the plugins that we use in After Effects and I use in After Effects to speed up our workflow. They were actually having a sale on that. And after that live stream, I got a couple of emails asking what other sort of plugins do I like to use every day inside of After Effects. So since you asked for it, here it is. We're doing the top five After Effects plugins that I like to use to at least speed up my workflow and make things a lot faster. Hey, what's up guys, Ryan here with Chomp, and today I'm going over the top five plugins I pretty much use every single day. I know there's a lot of different plugins out there for visual effects, animation, 3D, stuff like that, but these are kind of the main ones I use every day, and if there's some that you recommend, go ahead and uh, leave those in the comments below, or if you would like to see the plugins I like to use for compositing, motion tracking, stuff like that, I can definitely make a list for that. So, without delaying, let's jump into the first one that I recommend. You guys have definitely heard about this. Um, I'll throw in a little bonus ones in there as well, but it's Video Copilot Console. And if you don't know this plugin, it just makes searching effects and adding effects so easy. I personally have a shortcut set to control spacebar and it pops up similar like in Sim 4D. You type in the effect you want, you hit enter, adds it. You can add effects really quickly in a small amount of time. Sort of a bonus number one is Quick Menu Pro from AE Scripts. It's very similar to Video Copilot's console. It is a paid version though, but it can literally search and activate anything and everything you can think of between solids, effects, um, anything you can think of. It's a little bit more robust, a little bit more powerful than Video Copilot's. But again, it's a paid one, but it makes the list. All right, number four or two, where, where do we leave off? Does anybody, anybody know? I already forgot. So in no particular order, number four is move anchor point from batch frame. There, there's a ton of extra features and ways to customize this effect. But basically what it does is you're able to move your anchor point with a click of a button and reposition and re-anchor your layers for position, rotation, scale, whatever you might do. And it just makes organizing your layers, whether it's text or different sort of solid layers inside of After Effects, just so much easier, so much quicker. And you can really start cranking out the way you want to orient your shapes a lot faster. So let's talk about number three on the list. And it's a plugin that I use every day called Easy. Easy is awesome because it gives you nice ease out and ease keyframe determinations that are already set up as presets that you just click with one button. So if you want a nice little ease in or ease in, ease out with a bunch of delay, or even if it comes to bouncing objects or elasticity, stuff like that to your objects, easy is easy to do it, huh? Cause it's called easy, see what I did there? And you basically just click one button and you never have to miss with the speed or time graph inside of After Effects because as we all know, if you have a bunch of keyframes trying to mess with that graph, it is definitely not fun. The bonus one that's a little bit more robust is Flow. Flow does kind of the same thing where you can customize presets, you can do a bunch of different curves and save them, as well as just giving you a lot of custom ability to how you want to sort of adjust those Bezier keyframes and adjust your smooth animation. The great thing with that too is if you make some sort of custom animation and you need to say have that, like let's say it's text animating and you need that same speed look for all other layers inside of a project that you're doing with your team, you can save those presets, send them over to someone that also has flow, they can incorporate into their plugin and then you're all able to have the same matching presets and speed of your animation so you're all on the same page. Another great plugin is True Comp Duplicator from AE Scripts. Now, if you're someone that has ever duplicated a composition, made a bunch of changes, go back out only to realize that you forgot to duplicate all the layers inside of that so nothing else will be affected. First off, if you're saying that's never happened to you, you're lying, come on, you're lying. That's happened to every pro, but True Comp Duplicator is awesome because inside your composition, whether you have one composition or a string of subcompositions, what True Comp Duplicator is gonna do is you select the main comp you wanna duplicate, you run the script, say True Comp Duplicator, and it's going to make a brand new copy of your composition, and it's going to also duplicate out every sub comp that's in that, no matter how long it is. So once you start making edits and changes inside of that comp, it's not going to affect your master one that you duplicate it from, and it can definitely save a lot of headache and save a lot of time, especially if you're doing a bunch of reiteration work or having to do multiple iterations of the uh, sort of the same effect or you know some workflow that needs a lot of different layers. Plugin number two. TextEvo is awesome because it gives you very quick, very smooth ways to get animated text. 
And if you create a mask and have your text rise up, you don't have to worry about mats and you're able to control all the parameters very quickly. Like if you want your text to come in by words, by letters, by spaces, it's a great name your own price plugin that has a lot of power built into it and can really save time if you have a lot of text animations that you need to knock out quickly. Coming in the last spot at number one, I did another tutorial in a previous video on this, but another huge one for 3D renders and even 2D graphics is FT Lens Distortion. And I love FT Lens Distortion because it's gonna give it that chromatic aberration lens effect that in some cases can kind of give you more of a photorealism look. But in general, it also just helps to sort of smooth out and give your renders and even 2D, 3D elements just a little bit more life to them. That's another one that I pretty much use every day and put on almost all animations, whether I'm doing 2D or 3D. All right, so there's definitely tons of plugins I use every day, but those are the top five that I probably use the most often. If there's some that you guys like, leave them in the comments. I'd love to check them out and see what everyone's using. Otherwise, I think that's it for this one. So I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.